Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very glad to be here among you. It's a great honor for me. It's a great honor to be here with you, with uh, the Hellenic communities. And uh, it's not the first time that I'm here in Washington. I remember the first time that it was four years ago. It's the third time that I'm in the United States as a Prime Minister. The previous two times I was in uh, New York during the UN Annual Assembly. But I think that it is the first time that uh, I'm here in the uh, United States and I have so constructive meetings and I'm hearing so good words about Greece. And this is something that I want to share with you. Just uh, one hour ago, I had a very constructive meeting in IMF headquarters with uh, Marge's director, Christine Lagarde. And sometimes it's difficult for me to believe to my ears what I'm hearing. Uh, but it's true. It's true that uh, Greece is very close to have a breakthrough. It is in a third point after seven severe years, after seven consecutive years of deep, deep crisis. So I think that uh, today we have to be more optimistic for our future. And I'm sure that this visit is a crucial visit for Greece and for its strategic partnership with the United States. So, I would like to warmly thank specifically the American Hellenic Institute, the American Hellenic Educational Progressive Association for hosting tonight's event. I considered it particularly important that my first meeting in Washington, D.C. takes place with uh, the leadership of the Greek-American community. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, the developments in Greece and the region, as well as the momentum built up in Greek-American relations in the last years, make it absolutely necessary to look more comprehensively at the valuable role of the community in the United States and the next steps in our cooperation. Greece is finally coming out of a severe deep recession that lasted more than seven years. This recession caused approximately 25%, a quarter of our GDP, resulted uh, in 27% unemployment and led to enormous brain drain. Uh, I'm talking about the young, high educated people that uh, obliged to go abroad. A recession that was combined by the biggest refugee flows ever seen in Europe since the Second World War that came to our doorstep. So we had to face at the same time two crises, the financial crisis but also the refugee crisis. We survived, we survived these difficulties we overcome these difficulties. I'm not saying that everything is uh, now easy. We have challenges, a challenging future ahead. But I can say that uh, I can say that I'm very confident now that Greece is already back. Greece is back and we leave behind not only the crisis, 
but also the economic model that led us to this crisis. And uh, I'm meaning about uh, the economic model fostering corruption and inefficiency. We applied uh, all these difficult years a demanding package of hundreds of reforms. And I could say that uh, Greece is the only country in the recent history that made so many reforms in so short time. My government in the last two and a half years made 400 actions, difficult reforms. Reforms in public administration, taxation, pension system, everywhere. And now we are happy that these uh, reforms uh, seems that had very significant results. And among others, we passed uh, the 2016 Investment Incentives Law, which aims to generate more than $30 billion in private investments by 2023. We strengthening the fast-track procedure for strategic investments. And uh, we increased uh, our absorption of EU structural funds to record levels. So, 2017, this year, is the year that uh, everybody can see that we turn the corner. The economy has grown for two consecutive semesters and the forecast of growth of 2017 is uh, very close to 2%. I am very optimistic that it could be more than 2% than of GDP and the perspective, the, the forecast for 2018, even from IMF, is for growth 2.6%. We managed to outperform our targets for primary surpluses in the last two years and uh, the most important positive surprise was last year, 2016, when the forecast of IMF was for growth 0.1. Uh, I'm sorry, it was for primary surplus 0.1 and the last result was primary surplus 4.2. This was uh, the positive surprise of this uh, outperformance that uh, change uh, uh, all the estimations for, for the future and for the uh, probability to have a success and to have a successful concluding of uh, the second review that finally uh, we managed to do and then to have the perspective for a successful concluding of the third program. Investments uh, in 2017 are up 11.2% for the first quarter. Exports are up 15% in the first eight months of 2017. And let me just add that Greece has nearly doubled the exports of the US than vice versa. So I mean that maybe it's time to increase not to decrease exports from Greece to US, but to increase investments from the United States to Greece. Because this is a key issue for our economy. Tourism in uh, 2017 was amazing. We had more than 30 million tourists in Greece. Uh, we increased the uh, by 5 million in the last uh, 3 years and expected to reach 35 million, this is our goal, in 2021. When I hope I will have the Congress in Greece and we will celebrate the 200 years of the Hellenic Revolution. 
So I think that uh, it's more than clear that Greece finally is turning the corner. But the goal we have is not purely economic. This effort in the economy constitutes a solid basis for our broader strategy of enhancing our role as an economic hub and a pillar of stability and security in the region. And this is exactly where the future of the Greek-American strategic relationship lies. It is uh, a relationship of geostrategic importance. Greece is not... Uh, uh, Greece uh, is the only country, is the only country that has promoted a comprehensive, active diplomatic agenda for stability and cooperation in one of the most important but also more unstable regions in the world. Launching bilateral and trilateral cooperation together with uh, Cyprus, with Israel and Egypt and other countries of the Middle East, we have the goal and we managed to create a field of stability in this destabilized area. As well as uh, new formats of cooperation in the Balkans, and this is our new, let me say, our new dogma in uh, our external policy. The multidimensional external policy. Because uh, Greece maybe is the only ally of the United States that could play this crucial role in the crossroads of three continents a priceless, priceless ally that can at the same time discuss with difficult countries but with the credibility to protect and to support our common values. And this is something that I want to underline because I believe that you have to not forget that you don't only represent a very proud nation, but you represent the values which was born in this nation. The values that uh, shared in uh, our common in the in the West community, the values of uh, freedom, the values, the value of democracy, and I think that this is very crucial that we have to not forget. At the same time, Greece is uh, for a long time European Union and NATO, NATO member, and uh, one of the few that fulfills its obligations in terms of military expenditure. Greece promotes a strong defense cooperation with the United States, including in the crucial base of Suda Bay, and has a close coordination with the United States on security issues related to migration. At the same time, Greece already a global power in tourism and shipping is rapidly strengthening its role as an energy and transport hub. In energy, soon the TAP, Transatlantic Pipeline, will be ready, and we are creating the conditions for developing the IGB, the vertical corridor, and uh, from from Alexandrupoli to uh, Bulgaria and the East Med pipeline, the East Med, the East Med pipeline that will uh, link uh, the Leviathan resources with Cyprus and Cyprus with Creta uh, and then with uh, the mainland. 
Only a few days ago, VEPA opened the door to the creation of a floating storage uh, regasification unit, FSRU, in our northern port of Alexandropolis. And uh, something also very significant, importing shale gas from the United States. At the same time, new hydrocarbon tenders are carried out in Crete and the Ionian with uh, the participation of uh, significant American companies. And of course we are working hard to develop the ports of Piraeus and Thessaloniki into regional logistic hubs connected to roads and railroad networks. High-speed railway, connections uh, all through the Balkans, as well as the Danube and Black Sea regions. So, dear ladies and gentlemen, I truly believe that this is the perfect moment for further enhancing the Greek-American strategic partnership. First, we must focus on American investments in Greece, as I said before. I believe that this is maybe the key issue, this is maybe the most important message that I have to convey to you. We need these investments. It's crucial, not for our recovery, but uh, for our effort to create the new era of our country. Because we don't want to have uh, growth only for 2017 and 2018, but we want to have permanent and inclusive growth. And we're very close to end these three bailout programs. So, it is necessary for us at the end of 2018 to be able with, uh, with uh, high rhythms of growth to be able to have the necessary fiscal space in order to heal the woods of the crisis and to make the necessary recorrections to decrease the taxation in order to be able to promote a more friendly environment for investments and entrepreneurs in our country. That's why we need to have higher growth rates. And this means more investments. And more than that, investments means jobs. And jobs means, at the end of the day, decreasing of unemployment. And believe me, this is our first priority. When uh, in the country there, there was unemployment <laughs> over than 27% when we get to power, and especially for the young people, unemployment of 50%, there is no other priority than to decrease these figures. And this, this means that we will come back to normality. There is not normality only if we have growth. There is not normality only if you will be out of these bailout programs. It is very important. We will regain our sovereignty. Very, very important. But the most important for us is when we will regain employment in our country. And first of all, future for our young generation. So, I think that uh, the first that we have to do is to focus on American investments in Greece, particularly in the fields of tourism,
and real estate, energy, infrastructure, new technology, agribusiness, and in the financial sector. A landmark in this effort will be the United States participation at uh, Southeastern's European Largest Business and uh, Trade Expo uh, to the Thessaloniki International Fair next September, when the uh, United States will be the honored country. And I think that it's a very significant event. Secondly, we must make clear to our allies and our friends that Greece can only remain the regional pillar of stability and security if its most fundamental security concerns in the Aegean and the Eastern Mediterranean are met. We have and will continue to have an active policy of resolving the Cyprus issue on the basis of a fair and viable solution outlined uh, in the United Nations Security Council resolutions. And we hope that uh, the Turkish side will sit again on the table to continue talks on this basis. I suppose that uh, I will have the disposal to discuss the crucial for us issue tomorrow with President Trump and the American U.S. leadership. <coughs> And uh, that's why today I had a communication with President Anastasiadis. At the same time, we have an active policy of dialogue and engagement with Turkey in order to resolve issues and support its European, European perspective. And uh, there are Two, we hope that Turkey will sit on the table and continue the exploration talks or discuss confidence-building measures. But it must absolutely be clear to all that uh, we will resolutely protect our sovereign rights in the Aegean against the illegal Turkish claims and provocations. And we will not accept a United Cyprus whose security is guaranteed by Turkey under the permanent threat of military intervention. And on the, and on the, on the name issue, we will continue our dialogue and uh, confidence building as we have, but the path for Euro-Atlantic integration can be opened for the former Yugoslav, Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia only when we will resolve the issue on the basis of a mutually agreed solution. <coughs> Dear friends, uh, ladies and gentlemen, these are the important issues for the future and uh, in these crucial times we count on the extremely valuable support of the Greek American community to promote them. I truly believe that as U.S. supported Greece in the difficult times of the crisis, and as crucial was this support, the same crucial now is to enhance our strategic cooperation in order to create a new era for our country, for our region. I want you to know that we count on you. Doesn't matter who is in the government, we represent our nation, we represent our country, and you are one of the most important ambassadors of Greece 
in a very significant country in the United States. We count on you and I'm sure that also you count to us in order to overcome together and collectively these difficult days. <laughs> Believe me, the future of Greece, the future of Greece is better and uh, I am confident that uh, not only we will manage to overcome the difficulties, these difficult days and the crisis, but so that we will manage to create a different day for our country without these uh, regions that led us to the crisis. We want to create uh, a day without this uh, productive model that led us to the crisis and we want to create a clear day for Greece a day that uh, all the Greek people and especially the young people could imagine their future in the country, in Greece, to live with prosperity and hope. And this is the most important for us, to work together today for the next generation, for the tomorrow of our country. Thank you very much. Thank you for those very inspiring words. AHI and AHEPA would like to make an award to you. Prime Minister, on behalf of all the organizations, in commemoration of your visit to Washington today, we do present you with this tray, which represents the drafting and signing of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, most important document.